Okay, so you're gonna need three to four packs of Jamaican bounce crochet hair, a rat tail comb, and a crochet needle. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair and I lightly blow dried it so it's just a little straighter and a little easier for me to braid. I'm gonna make a small part in the front of my head and then part down the sides just so I can leave the front part of my hair out so I can make this style versatile. When I'm parting it, I go a little bit past the back of my ear because I do plan on doing some up down styles and I'm gonna need my hair to hide the crochet hair. Next, we're gonna take our Miel Organic Styling Cream. I really like this styling cream because you can use it every day. And every time you're about to go to sleep and put your bonnet on, go ahead and put these flat twists where they're about to be right here. And you're gonna take them out every day just so your hair looks fresh every morning when you wake up. And we're just gonna flat twist our hair. It's really simple. It's just like you're gonna twist and grab, twist, grab. Just like you're doing a regular twist, except you're just gonna be grabbing the base of your hair and just twisting it in. And we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. The next thing I did was put eight straight back cornrows. So my cornrowing skills are horrible, honey. So if you can't cornrow at all, you can flat twist it back. But my cornrows, they're just enough to hold the crochet into place. Like they're really sloppy because I don't know how to cornrow that well, but they hold, so whatever. As I said before, my cornrow skills are horrible. And don't worry about how the parts are. You're gonna put those up inside of the cornrows anyway. And right here, we're just gonna go ahead and braid two braided ponytails out of the four cornrows on each side. And after this, we're gonna go ahead and pin them up. Right here, you're gonna grab your crochet needle and you're going to 
go ahead and place it underneath the cornrow and you're gonna grab the ends of your little braided ponytail and pull it through. You're just gonna twist it up into the cornrow so it stays and you're not gonna have to worry about anything showing or anything coming unloose. Right, now we're really getting started so we're gonna grab one pack of the Jamaican bounce hair um, I use one whole loop and I don't separate it until the very end so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that put your crochet hook into the cornrow just like you did when you were twisting your real hair up into the braid and pull it through grab the loop and pull the hair that's left out through and pull you can actually do this twice i'm only doing it once because i plan on taking this out like in a week but just for example if you want to double wrap it like so here is an example so we're going to go ahead and pull the hair through grab the loop grab the hair pull it through twist the loop because we're going to do a double knot here and pull the hair through and then make sure it's tight at the end so it doesn't come out. Okay, so I think I use like one and a half packs on one side of my hair. So we're gonna go ahead and continue same way we did on one side, same way we're doing on this side. Okay, so now we're almost done and we are in the front row. So you're gonna go ahead and put your loop all the way at the front of the cornrow just so it's more full that way and there's nothing left out. And you're gonna go ahead and do that with each individual cornrow. Okay, so you're done with the crochet part. Now all you have to do is start separating these curls to make it more full. You can leave it like this if you want to, but I kind of like the separated look. Okay, so side note, this hair does tend to get a little frizzy as you separate it, but it lasts for like up to four weeks and it still looks good. It'll only look frizzy like to you because I honestly had my hair in for four weeks at one time with this style and the hair still looked good. It just tangles easily because it is, you know, synthetic. So don't expect too much out of this, but it looks good for what it is.
And lastly, we're gonna finally undo these twists. And you're gonna gently take them apart so you don't make your own hair frizzy because you're not gonna comb it out. You're just gonna untwist it and it's just gonna be a twist out so it can blend. Okay, and here's the finished look. I just went ahead and put a headband on and pushed my hair back, but yeah, you got a few options here. Okay, so this is like my messy up down do that I do in a hurry. Um, you can actually like slick your edges down, do whatever you want. This is just like, I don't know, we're just trying to make it natural. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Toodles.